Hey guys, Supercurse Productions here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on my LEGO Transformers The Last Night Megatron. This guy I did show a little bit in the RC video that I did, and, and he only took like two hours to do. He's got a very simple transformation, and I gave you guys, I guess, a 360 view on him. As you can see, the weapon does connect to the top that I made for him. It's a pretty big weapon, and this is a pretty big transformer. I would compare him to Optimus in truck mode, but I don't feel like transforming Optimus into truck mode. He's in robot mode right now, so uh, and probably doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess I could compare his uh, jet mode to RC. I gotta put down a little kickstand. But um, yeah, so that's a Megatron compared to RC, and I get, I'll do a robot comparison of him and Optimus. He's about just as tall as Optimus, but he's just a bit bulkier. So, for the jet mode, like as you can see, I, did, I tried to add some gold. So he's got gold there, gold there, gold back here. And then I did make his like orange-ish cockpit thing. I don't know how accurate this is. I haven't really seen the jet. I've just seen other people's. And I base mine off memory from the movie. Cause I've actually seen the movie now three times. And I still haven't really paid much attention to Megatron's transformation. You can see all the robot parts on the bottom. And all the different colors I had to use. Sorry if it's not a camera angle. He does have a license plate there because I didn't want to take off the sticker. And he does have a lot of black if you notice on him. Like on the sides here. Because I ran out of dark gray pieces. And I had to use black. So he is using black, dark blue, and light gray. But I guess now we can get on to the transformation. So first up, take these wings, which are on ball joints, and you fold them back. Take the other one, do the same thing, fold it back. You fold these little pieces here. I don't know how you can see those, but there's little slopes in there. You fold them up. And... Lift these up just a little bit so you can fold the these wing pieces up, not by much, but um, yeah, just so they can fold up a little bit, like right there, I guess. Just bend the wings in so they touch, and then next you take his legs down here you fold this down twist it bottom fold the uh, feet down and then you fold out the little heel in the back and the legs are kind of loose apparently in all my transformers the legs are kind of loose the bodies break off well so far well actually so far just megatron and optimus i haven't really had that problem too much with rc even though her body will separate from the legs occasionally but not as much as it does with Optimus and Megatron and it did it again um, so pull down his legs then take these pieces which form his skirt and then you take these side pieces and also form the rest of his skirt and if I lean him back here Hopefully you can stand. Lay him back. Just get something to uh, lift the camera up a bit so you can see him better. I'll zoom out as well. See if that helps. So what you do here is, as you can see, the cockpit is what forms the uh, what the um, arms form the cockpit. So what you do is, you take this piece here and you untab this arm. And then you take the other arm and then it just untabs it there. And you bend these down like that. And I did just knock off his weapon, which it can clip stay on his back in robot mode. And I'm apparently breaking the whole thing. But um and so fold his feet down so he will balance 
fold the head up. These things, you just fold them up just a little bit. You do have to bend them back for transformation into jet mode, just so the head isn't in the way, nothing will fall off. The head honestly isn't the greatest design that I've done. I could do better, but like I said, because of the parts that I had, I couldn't really do much. But next, you take the arms and you just bend this arm up a little bit. So that'll turn. I mean, it kind of looks like he's got a shield on his arm. Even though it's supposed to be that, um, cannon thing that goes on his arm. So, and then now you can take off his weapon. Hopefully he'll stand. I gotta find a way to position the legs so that he'll stand. There we go. Just bend that one. A little bit so you can take his um axe sword there's a pretty big axe sword i actually made the jet mode and the axe sword inaccurate the first time i did this and i decided to redo them so i'll put the axe in his hand it does clip in there and then you can fold his fingers over it stands there um yes yeah, so that's uh megatron he's a pretty big transformer even though like i said he's not much taller than optimus prime he's just bulkier and if you bring in optimus here you can see how much taller he is it's not by much it's just like an extra stud that makes his head taller probably doesn't look it but yeah, it's just really an extra stud, but it does make his head a little bit taller than Optimus. But, um, yeah, so that's about it for this video. I got not really much else to say. And I'll give you another Kate Yeager comparison. As you can see, like, compared to Optimus and Kate Yeager, uh, Kate Yeager looks like he's the right size. Because of how bulky my Megatron is, Kate Yeager just looks very, very tiny. And then you take um, RC and I'll just put her there so you can see how small she is compared to the robot mode. It's not much, but um. So I did mention this in the last video, which was. or my uh, RC video. And. I mentioned that I'm going to be making other Transformers if you guys had any suggestions. So I said I wasn't going to say anything until this video. So the tra mainly because the Transformers, I, I have a list so far of Transformers that I do plan to make. Which those are going to be Crosshairs, Hot Rod from Trans Crosshairs and Hot Rod from Transformers Last Night. Then Dark of the Moon, I plan to do Soundwave. Laser beak, and there was another one which I can't seem to remember. Uh, oh, Starscream. Uh, I'm gonna be doing three Decepticons from Dark of the Moon, and then these are undecided which versions I will make, but I definitely want to make Bumblebee and Barricade. I'm probably just gonna make the last night versions. I don't know yet about making Bumblebee movie versions or the movie that's coming out next year. So, that's basically the list of Transformers I plan to do, so if you guys have any suggestions for others you would like to see me do, since I plan to do a lot of Decepticons, like uh, the Starscream, Laserbeak, Soundwave, well, I mean, I guess it's actually pretty even. So I guess it doesn't matter if you guys suggest Decepticons or Autobots, but, um, yeah, so... Any suggestions, if you guys want to see me do um, my own versions of Transformers, well not my own versions, but um, my own Autobots or my own Decepticons, come up with my own design for Decepticon or Autobot, like make up my own characters. If you guys want to see me do those, let me know, because as of right now I probably won't be able to do official characters. 
I mean, certain ones I may be able to do, like I was able to do Megatron and RC. After this video, since I did use up all my ball joints, and it's going to be a while before I can get more hinges and ball joints, I'm going to have to take apart my Megatron. So that's why I decided to do a video on him. But, um, yeah, so that's about it for this video. Really hope you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. And, I, yeah, bye. Oh, um, one thing I forgot to mention before I leave is my one-year anniversary is coming up on this channel. So, I don't really have anything special planned except a video, a certain video. I won't tell you what it's about, but, um, yeah, so this is coming up this weekend. You guys will, you guys will definitely see it this weekend because my one-year anniversary is this weekend. But, uh, yeah, now I'll leave.